Hey everyone, it's me, Nathan from Nathan's Way. Today I am doing Raven Flowers 2021 tag. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to kind of see where I'm at with 2020 and kind of get into the swing of making videos again. Because I took probably like since the 14th off. And I kind of want to get back and get my creative juices going and kind of get back. And this is a little late because I said I was going to do this a week or so ago when it originally came out. And I didn't do it. So, let's start. So, number one. Do you believe in the tradition of a New Year's resolution? If so, do you have one? No, I don't. It is a proven fact that every year I set a New Year's resolution, it never goes through. So I do goals. I do yearly goals, I do monthly goals, I do weekly goals, and right now I haven't tackled any of that yet. Come come the next couple weeks, I'm going to sit down with a book and get everything I want to do done. Uh, get my goals listed, get the steps and kind of go forward with that um with covid happening i was planning on doing a whole lot of planning and all that last year but then all the all the pandemic stuff just happened and wiped all those plans away okay so number two has 2020 revealed something that no longer serves you? Um, I say, I would say yes. I found that I have these habits, these escapism tactics I use that really do me more harm than good. Um... I don't know how to fix it, but I'm going to be working on it. I also have some bad habits to do with mental health or my mental process, my self-doubts. And those are things I really got to work on and I might need help for. Uh, at the moment, I need to take my mental health one step at a time, but I cannot ignore it for long either. So, yeah, it's a whole thing that needs work. Number three, what is something new you intend to add to your practice this year? Something new I intend to add to my practice. Well, I'm in a place where my practice is... It is there. It is there. I work with it. But it's not where I want it to be. Now, with magical practice, it's kind of a push and pull of circumstances for me. When I am... When I'm in a good place, where I'm magicking every day, where I'm practicing my craft, I am happy. I'm at my happiest. And when I'm confined and I don't have the space to spread out or I don't have the ability to go out and practice my magic in ways that I like, it's kind of disheartening. It's kind of my practice does take a hindrance and I understand the idea of witching through it of getting through it of just magic just creating magic ick, no matter what you do and put your intent into everything that is all good in theory but when it comes to practicing it sometimes you get it gets lost in the mundane and it's a constant like it's a constant thing you gotta think about. Like, when you, like, 
I wanted to practice magic every day from the littlest mundane things, from making a cup of tea to doing my laundry. But reality is when you're making your cup of tea, sometimes you, like, you're just making a cup of tea without thinking of the magical properties or magical aspect that goes along with it. Sometimes it gets lost and I really want to get to the point of making sure I am aware of every little th of all the little magics I do in every mundane thing and it make so it makes it not so mundane and I think adding reminders or daily things is it's a struggle it is a struggle for me but I understand that I am magic. I feel magic. I can use magic. I'm a magical being. And just because your practice goes stagnant or stale sometimes doesn't mean it's not there. It just needs to be harnessed and like grow. Um, and that is what I'm going to be adding to it. I am going to be adding caring and nurturing to my practice and it's going to be hard it really is going to be hard but you know so is life <laughs> life is hard sometimes but pushing forward going forward nurturing what you got kind of doing stuff off with it will help and i have been doing things every day that are magical that uh I do because I enjoy it. My brain likes it. And I know it's magical without me diving down. Like watering my plants. Uh, like just growing them. Looking at them. Every time I look at my little plant setup I have. It, it just. It makes me feel a little bit better. Um, let's see. Number four. Four. Number four. What is your go-to divination? Now, divination is something I plan on working on this this year. I have a tarot deck that I read and I love, but I have several others that I purchased and I got in the mail that I'm going to be doing a dive into. I really want to do a thorough good job of my tarot series and exploring my tarot because I am going to be diving into my learning disability and how I'm how it affects my practice how I work with it what I look for while with my learning disability and going forward into that and I don't usually read to predict the future I read my cards as a tool to get another perspective. I am the divination or sightseeing or future sight. I that has been a struggle for me. I mean, I've had dreams, I had readings where the outcome the outcome was like mind blowing that it actually happened. And that is something I really want to harvest. But it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time and practice. And divination is something that I, I I struggle with. We all have our struggles and we need, and it's okay to admit those struggles. But it's what you do with those struggles to move forward with. Okay. Five. To coven or not to coven? No. No. I don't do covens. Um, I'm not knocking people who work with covens, but what I see in covens does not fit fit with me. You do you, but it's not for me. Now, however, I do like working with people. I like working with my friends, people who I trust closely. I would work with people who know me like a couple of my friends up in Massachusetts and I'm 
potentially doing some work with a friend hen that's close by in Georgia. Now, I like learning from my friends. My friends, I feel the ones I work with know my style, know what I'm about, and they know that I, they know that I am rough around the edges with my practice. Like, I don't do things stereo, like um, not stereotypical. Uh, I don't do things uh st 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 traditional. I don't do traditional things. Like, I don't find it necessary to uh draw a circle i don't find it necessary to like do the whole ritual of um building a circle i don't do like with me is i just do a little that in i created my space visually mentally i visualize my space just being made by a simple gesture and if that is okay for me, but whether to coven or not to coven, it's not for me. Um, I am solitary who likes to work with people. <sighs> I really hope I didn't offend people with that one. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry if I did. Um, so, the, number six, last one. What is your highest hope for the new year? My highest hope for the new year. My highest hope for the new year is to grow, to become better, and to get out of debt, but <laughs> mainly to become better, grow, grow from this experience, grow from 2021. Get myself in an okay, okayness. <laughs> like, to grow, to create, to kind of go forward and just be a better human being. Or be the best human I can be. That's my goal for 2021. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Ravenflower, for coming up with these questions. They were fun. And... Yeah, I kind of, I really enjoyed it. Well, with that being said, much love and best wishes. Uh, and thank you for coming along my journey with me. This is my way, Nathan's way. Bye. Also, if you like more videos like this, please consider liking, subscribing, <laughs> and... <laughs> Liking, subscribing, and hitting that little no notifications bell down below for more updates. I totally just did that backwards. This is my way. Nathan's way. Bye.